Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConnor Man at YouTube with a, another model review, the Chadal Custom. Uh, as you guys know from my dual build, this was built for the Gundam forum, not to be confused with GAF, the forum that's attached to Hobbyco, a hobby based uh, shop in Sydney. They wanted to get a heap of Australians together to build the same kit and have a very fun group build. There has been incentives for me to enter. Uh, these guys do support my modelling club and I'm promised to get a free gift. So I'm very excited to see what that is. I just uh, want to talk about the tonnage of mods I've uh, made. The... Uh, fuel tank at the back and the reactor at the top of him which feeds the beam gatling gun is of uh, different parts and there's all sorts of uh, texture, cut of here aftermarket parts, putty and whatnot followed by a very very heavy rust. The effect I was uh, going for as I'm zooming in some of the uh, hand painted stuff is a civilian owned uh, MS that's used to protect private property like a junkyard. Sometimes decals can be a pain and occasionally I like to experience hand painting stuff on flat surfaces and wanted to get a jagged teeth mouth effect. Unfortunately even though it's an experiment this gets covered by the Gatling gun so I definitely want to show off that one little feature. There's been some uh, military parts from kits also applied. I think that's even a resin one. And hand painted a P symbol. Uh, Henry from Vegeta8952. I probably fucked that up. He told me about this uh, snake cable from the IT industry. And I uh, used that for a really nice, very thick uh, beam cabling. A lot of people uh, criticise the beam cabling for being far too thick, but if you're powering something as powerful as a beam Gatling gun rapidly firing, the uh, logic in my head of being a technician tells me to use something fat. You may have seen the Cranky head uh, decal on the front of the reactor. In the back I've got a larger uh, Dr. Cranky uh, decal. I've got two of the sheets laying around. He is a uh, major inspiration and... This is sort of like the type of uh, Gundam I think you'd like to pilot. So, Doc, if you're watching this, yeah, this is for you, mate. Definitely. I definitely want to show this off. This is the first time I've ever done this. I used uh, copper for the uh, thrusters on the inside uh, burnt iron. Get the light in there. And the burnt iron was... Uh, freehand and at the very end of the uh, thruster bell a tiny bit of freehand airbrushing of uh, a black soot so I think I finally got uh, weathering thrusters down which is quite nice uh, we'll get this to guy to spin a real around a little longer but yeah the amount of uh, modifications it's uh, barely distinguishable that it used to be a Shadol absolutely went wild on very small details which some are easy to spot at some not so hard but a ton of texture on a uh, fairly all over the place uh, paint scheme which I used multiple layers of the salt weathering scheme on multiple pieces and changed colors on other pieces which is very familiar to rusted out car modelers and military modelers with um, a tonnage of uh, ink to bring out all these bits and pieces a really really wild experience the uh, chest is not new anymore there's an extra sensor on top of the head uh, there's just absolutely nothing on the front of the shield that's even original <laughs> anymore I purchased a large sheet of uh, checker plate styrene and uh, used almost a quarter of it all over this guy. Uh, you'd be surprised when you're covering a surface completely with uh, styrene how hungry these uh, projects can get. Uh, MIG production, pigment weathering, you name it. I definitely believe that this is my best uh, weathering battle damage rust effect after watching 
a lot of view videos, a lot of tutorials, reading up on stuff, and most especially the uh, tips I got from uh, Dr. Cranky. I'll put a link of his uh, channel down below. Uh, love the uh, heat rod sign, bit of a joke in our club. Thank you very much, guys, for watching and uh, following this build. I hope you're very pleased with uh, the results. I'm absolutely loving this and we'll definitely take him around to a few different shows and displays. Catch you guys later. Until next time. Peace out.